that many. It's 13 episodes like the original. Um, these are broadcast hours rather than PBS hours, so they're shorter in the hour because they're commercials that come in. Now, initially, that was kind of <laughs> like a commercial. And then you realize that the commercials force chaptering of stories. So that, in fact, the parceling of information will be much more contained, much more um, accessible to the typical viewer. Uh, unless you're one of these viewers that can sit for 50 minutes before a story comes to a conclusion. Maybe you are that. Most people are not as evidenced by YouTube viewings versus the length of the, view, the YouTube video. So, so what it did, it forced us to be better storytellers. And the, the, the portfolio of tools that we have to tell these stories is brought to us because of the budgeting. It's much bigger budget than anything that would be available on public broadcasting. Not quite the full evening primetime budget, but it falls in between there, and that, that gives us latitude. That allows, well, first we can get our, our director of photography, his name is Bill Polk. He was the director of photography of the Matrix trilogy. So he's, he's thinking about images and how they work and what they would do and what the camera angle would be. These are storytellers that, that exist in the, in the entertainment community and they're all interested in science. All of them. But their storytelling capabilities had never previously been applied to science. The, 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 the intensity, the visual, the music, the, 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 the quality of the visuals that accompany the storytelling. So, what's different is that we've taken it up a notch. And that notch comes about because of the resources made available to us given the scale of the production. And some names you might have heard of Seth MacFarlane, he's the one who brought us to Fox. Um, uh, this Brandon Braga is one of the, uh, is the, the director, and he directed uh, and wrote for Star Trek, uh, The Next Generation, and others. These are people who have been in the field, have been thinking about science, and they love it. They're, especially my makeup, just moved, uh, and, uh, my makeup person. Uh, yes, they put makeup on. My makeup person, uh, I was going over the script and we were talking about flying near the sun and she says, I'm just, this is amazing, this is great. I said, well, we're talking about the sun. She said, oh, I just, I was just, you know, I spent four years working on Breaking Bad. And when they go over the script, it's like, so do I shoot him in the head? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is why it's a delight for so many of the folks who ignore and the makeup, you know, so where do I put the bullet hole? You know? So, uh, for everyone working on it, it was a labor of love, as it is for me. Um, the show has been written by Andrean, uh, and some of the original story uh, telling was laid out by her collaboration with Steve Soder. That duo wrote the first two space shows here at the Hayden Planetarium. The, so, we have people who care and their pedigree at this. And so, uh, I, my hope is that it lives up to and even exceeds anyone's expectation for it. If it doesn't, then we fail. Because there's nothing to stop it at this point. But thank you all, and I'm only supposed to be here for 10 minutes, but <laughs> you're asking questions about.